Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 11. The first episode where we're alone without Gojo. Yeah, he's on the way up. That's Yuji. I like how his wolf is just eating a cursed corpse in the background. <laughs> Yuji just loves taking these things out. I don't think it's kind of cute though. Well, it wasn't hurting anyone. ハマゴいやー。パワーライトゥザットステートメント。気づいたところでだよ。仮想にはレイの改造人間がいる。ああ、ゆじじゃがハブアグレートタイム。ゆじじゃがラブディス。すぐには上がってくれねえだろうな。
Yeah, I mean, he's obviously strong. What is, like, Granny the Support Mage? Those are always the most annoying in these games. Oh no, but this is... No, I feel like he's underestimating. He's got the water healies. What the... What? He just ate a cursed object? Thought this was supposed to be fast. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. It just registered. Did she say Zenin Toji? He just ate Toji. That Toji. That <laughs> that Zenin Toji. Oh, we're getting a deep deep flashback. Yeah, I know those eyes anywhere. Deep cut Gojo flashback? Maybe related to Toji? I'm getting weird vibes from this. Okay. Oh, it's Granny. She's just been out here doing this. Maybe you had to leave him, let him die with that. Cold-blooded. I thought Granny was chill. I was wrong. The 80s were a dark time, huh? And everything changed when Gojo attacked. Wow, they really should have taken him out when they had the chance. But why do I feel like baby Gojo is also dangerous? <laughs> they just knew, huh? Everyone just knew. Probably didn't know how much, but they knew. <laughs> oh. Man, I wish I was Gojo <laughs> just as a kid. Just that cool, that powerful. Untouchable at nine. Or whatever. Just his existence. He just raised the bar. Man, he really is God, Buddha, whatever. What a, like, what a lucky break and miracle it was for real that he is on our side. Yeah, I guess this is somewhat personal then, since these are his kids. Do nothing. I mean, he's just been living in Gojo Shadow, like like all of us are, since 1989. Gojo's so much better than you that his first year students beat your like 80 years of experience. That's true, he did let everyone know. Aw, <laughs> cute. It's like that hypothetical joke or question people ask you, would you rather fight a lion or a thousand rats or whatever? Or it could just be a giant rabbit made of small, smaller rabbits. Still adorable though. I'm, I'm not worried about those two, I'm worried about him. Yeah, seance. Toji is the problem here. Not me, there he is. Oh man, he's like the only person that ever like really beat Gojo. I'm curious about like the how, how this power works. I mean, how much is, is it actually Toji and how much is it the guy being cognizant and conscious but just having Toji's powers? Very subtle. Just drop an elephant on him. Yeah, that leaves his hands occupied for... Okay, or not. What's their game? Speaking of subtle, <laughs> just hit him with his car. That was a cool shot. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Finishing blows totally nullified. They figured it out, so. Super weak and slow stab and punch. Very wise, very well done. Gentle breeze. Wow, he's so far ahead of this fight, he's able- he has the mental resources to do calculus. Make the weak attack the sword. I don't think Yuji knows how to punch lightly anyway. Oh, the frog got him. Damn, taken out by a tongue. Light punch? They didn't punch him. Oh, there, we go. there it is. 
That's something awesome about that. Wow. Honestly surprised Itadori has a self-control, given how much he loves punching things. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Very adaptive. Guess retirement comes... I don't, I don't know if I'd call it early. Retirement comes for you. <laughs> so I really enjoyed this episode in, in kind of a surprising way. I mean, I'm still kind of worried about, uh, you know, because man, he just seems too nice and too honorable for this world. I hope he can pull it off. He seems to so desperately want to be living up to Nanami's greatness. Also being such a cool older bro figure for younger kids. But what's so cool about this episode for me is, like I said, there's this feeling that I got hit with. I think a lot of the audience for the show also got hit with when Goju got sealed, where it's like, it's all just bleak and despair from here on out. And it easily could have been, but that's not not the feeling of this episode at all. It's Yuji and Guro just like handling their business. I think like, you know, it's kind of an opportunity, right? Part of looking up to people, part of feeling gratitude is like waiting for a chance to feel like you, you're deserving of it, feel like you, you've earned it. And wow, it's just a chance, right? And it feels extra great that they're matching the expectations and sort of the calm hope that Gojo showed for them when he kind of accepted his, his current fate. I know there's definitely some darkness to come. There was a lot of darkness last episode, for example, but still it, it's inspiring. And among all that, they managed to sneak in somehow, despite it being sealed, more Gojo greatness lore, which is always appreciated.